Hey guys, Luke back with another guide video. This one's going to be on all of the nomadic merchant locations. That's the guys that have like campfires and little shops set up. So this video won't include NPCs like patches or gas stock or anything like that. Just the nomadic merchants. And I'll go through each and every one of their locations and their inventories and show you what they sell. So if you like videos like this, leave it a like and consider subscribing for more guide and PvP content. And I'll go ahead and get started. The first merchant that I'm going to show you is the Castle Morn Rampart Nomadic Merchant. And he's just here over in the Weeping Peninsula. Pretty easy to get to him. You just cross the bridge here, head down the road, and the merchant will be sitting right here. And I'll go ahead and show you what he sells. He sells an unlimited amount of Kukri, Smithing Stone 1 and 2, a Cracked Pot, a Stone Sword Key, a Bastard Sword, a Light Crossbow, several different types of arrows and bolts, the red thorn round shield, a regular round shield, and the full iron set along with a crimson amber medallion and a demi human mobs note. And next up we have the isolated merchant on the weeping peninsula on the west side. Just directly parallel to the other one this way. And he'll be right here. And he sells a lantern three stone sword keys, a lost ash of war, and that is the most things of note, but he also sells a Zwei hander as well as some smithing stone twos and a note about the wandering mausoleums. Next up we have the nomadic merchant in West Limgrave, just right here near the coastal cave. This is the first step where you first spawn in, and then from there you can just sort of travel over this way and make your way around. Go down the coast, and then you'll see this large sort of building above him, and he'll be sitting underneath. And then from him, you can buy several boluses, very useful item, a smithing stone one, a cookbook, a weapon, and a shield, as well as a couple notes, and that is everything that he sells. And next up, we have Merchant Kale, and to find him, you'll just need to go to the first step where you first spawn in. And then right after the Tree Sentinel guy, you'll make your way up to the Church of Ella, where you'll find him sitting right here. What is it? And he sells an infinite amount of throwing daggers, a telescope, some cracked pots, a crafting kit, cookbooks, a torch, a large leather shield, the full chain set, and then a couple of notes. And next we have Nomadic Merchant in East Limgrave. And he's just right above the Fort Height West Grace. Just by Fort Height here. And then I just traveled straight up to him. Pretty easy to find. He's just sitting in the woods. Welcome. Welcome. Barley pasties. I'm hungry. And he sells some bloody fingers, a sliver of meat, some other miscellaneous crafting stuff. A smithing stone, a couple cookbooks, a hand axe, some arrows, and St. Trina's arrows, which are sleep arrows. And then riveted wooded shield and the blue gold kite shield as well. And next up we have the nomadic merchant in North Limgrave. And he'll just be sitting right here playing his instrument. And this is in between the Saints Bridge and Summon Water Village Outskirts Graces in Northern Limgrave. And then once you get here, you'll interrupt him, and then he, he will sell you pickled turtlenecks, a smithing stone one, a cracked pot, a nomadic cookbook, short sword, halberd, a couple arrows, and the bandit's mask along with a note. And next up we have the isolated merchant here in northern Kalid. Pretty easy to get here, you just head to the Kalem Ruins and then hop over right here and then head up and around. And then he'll be sitting here next to a fire. Be careful when you come here because sometimes there will be a bell bearing hunter and he's pretty strong. Anything else? But he sells dragon wound grease, some bloody fingers, some gravel stone, a ritual pot, lost ashes of war times two, a Sastus, some arrows, some serpent arrows pretty nice. A beast repellent torch, 
and then the full land of reed set along with a sacrificial twig and two notes. Next up we have the Nomadic Merchant near the Astray from Kalid Highway North Grace here in Kalid. Very close nearby. Just a quick little trip right over to here. He'll be sitting next to a fire near some uh, weird stuff. We'll go ahead oh, and nice purchase. Here. He sells three preserving bolluses, an unlimited amount of poison bone darts and stones, Aeonian butterflies, arrows, an unlimited amount of fire arrows, and bolts. And next up we have the merchant located in the southern part of Kalid. I came from the southern Aeonia Swamp Bank and I just walked up here and right here where the road sort of forks around will be a merchant sitting next to a donkey and we'll go ahead and talk to him. He sells a cracked pot, a stone sword key, a cookbook, a couple arrows, an unlimited amount of flaming bolts, the champion set, as well as the great helm. Great for uh, paladins. And then the note here for gravity's advantage. And next up we have the nomadic merchant at the Lernia Lakeshore Grace, and this is just after Stormvale Castle. Once you go around that, you'll make your way out and up the road, and then he will be sitting right here. And he sells a lantern, five smithing stone ones, three twos, a cookbook, an S stock, an astrologer's staff, a couple arrows and bolts, a kite shield, and the full astrologer set. And next up we have the isolated merchant here on this bridge in between the South Ray Lucaria Gate and the main academy gate here in Ray Lucaria. And from this grace, we're just going to head back this direction. Sort of southeast. And then somewhere about halfway down this bridge, we'll find the merchant we're looking for. There's some wolves along the way, but they're not that dangerous. You can just sort of run past. And then right here is the merchant we're looking for, just chilling on the bridge. Back already. I'm usually this and he sells some bloody fingers, the fanged imp ashes, some crafting materials, some stone sword keys, lost ashes of war, a cookbook, St. Trina's arrows, meteor bolts, looks like an unlimited amount, the blue cloth set, sacrificial twigs and three notes and next up we have the nomadic merchant in the northern part of Liernia of the lakes near the Bellum church and from here we're just gonna go down the hole and we should find the merchant along the road this way yep right here And he sells some rune arcs, and then immunizing white cured meat, as well as invigorating and clarifying. And then some bewitching branches, a cookbook, a composite bow, a rift shield, and a blue crest heater shield. And next up we have Mount Gelmer, and to get to this nomadic merchant, we just go to the first Mount Gelmer campsite, Grace. And then from here, we're going to make our way up this way, across this. And then up a couple ladders, and then that will be where the merchant is located.
I believe it's at the top of this ladder here, so we should see him once we get to the top. Yep, and there he is. Welcome. Dear cast. Welcome. And he sells a stone sword key, a cookbook, several different types of arrows, and explosive bolts for you jar cannon enjoyers. Or great bolts, rather. And then the guilty hood and the full confessor set. And next up we have the nomadic merchant in West Altus Plateau. And this is just at the forest spanning Great Bridge Grace. And you'll find him sitting right here. And he sells bloody fingers, some gravel stone, three stone sword keys, an ancient dragon cookbook, some arrows, some lightning bolts, a red crest heater shield, a scorpion kite shield, a crossed tree tower shield, a tree surcoat, and two notes. And next up we have the Hermit Merchant here at the Hermit Merchant Shack in Altus Plateau. Some. And he sells Rune Arcs, a Bloody Finger, some Sunflowers, a Perfume Bottle, Arrows, an unlimited supply of Golden Arrows as well as Golden Grey Arrows, Golden Bolts as well I believe, yep, and the Sentry's Torch, a distinguished great shield and the profits set along with the upper class robe and a note. Next up we have the nomadic merchant in the mountaintops of the giants. And we're gonna start at the ancient Snow Valley Ruins Grace and then from here we're gonna make our way up and around this way. And there's gonna be a spirit spring right about here. We're gonna hop up and then make our way down this way and the merchant is gonna be sitting right here on the cliff side. How he gets any business on a cliffside, I have no idea, but we're just going to roll with it and we're going to go find him and buy his stuff. Here is the spirit spring, we're just going to hop up. And then make our way around the cliff side and he'll just be right around here. And he sells some rune arcs. A lot of ball frost bolluses, some stone sword keys, I believe it's three, um, cookbooks, arrow, great arrow, bolt, ballista bolts, an unlimited amount of lightning great arrows, and then the full vagabond set. Next up we have the merchant that is in the Siafra River, and this is an underground area. To get to here, you'll need to head to Limgrave. And then, sort of on the eastern side, you'll find the Siafra River Well entrance, just right here. And then once you go down that really long elevator, you'll eventually make your way to this grace that I'm at now. And this grace is called the Siafra River Bank Grace. And we're just going to make our way up this direction, climb a ladder, and then cross this, and there'll be a merchant right there. Careful of the blue ball guys, they do a lot of damage. Right over here, we're 
gonna climb the ladder right here, and then the merchant's gonna be just up there, inside that doorway. There are some enemies along the way, so be careful. down here and then go ahead and mount up if you want and then we can head this way and then down inside this room right here will be the merchant we're looking for Hello, good customer. and he sells some soap some butterflies three stone sword keys a larval tear a nomadic cookbook times two a shuttle, an arrow, and then dwelling arrows, and a bolt. And next up we have the Nomadic Merchant here in the Ainsel River. And to find this river, all you have to do is go to the eastern side of Liernia of the Lakes here at the Eastern Tableland. And then once you're here, you just travel right around on this road here. There'll be a giant, and then right behind him will be an Ainsel, Ainsel River Well entrance. And then once you go down that really long elevator ride, you'll end up where I am now. So I'm going to go ahead and start running to the merchant. It's quite a far run, and I, if you already know how to get to the large center room with the space bug thing that shoots rocks at you, you can skip ahead a little bit. And then just up ahead, there's going to be an elevator we're going to take down to the lower area beneath us. There's a grace there as well. And the elevator's not here for me, so I'll go ahead and edit this part out. But I'll just appear at the bottom of the elevator for you. And now I'm at the bottom of the elevator. And you can just run past all these guys. They're pretty slow. Now when you get out here there will be a large creature shooting rocks at you. If you want there is a grace. I'll go ahead and just show you where the grace is. There's a grace. You can see it right there is a way you can jump over um, on the middle ledge there. And then there's a grace just sitting right over there. I'm going to go ahead and make my way up towards the merchant now. merchant you'll just find sitting right back in here along with a map right here that you can use so you can see the area Is custom well. and he sells some gravity stone fans some chunks a lost ashes of war a celestial dew a nomadic cookbook a perfumer's cookbook and the prisoner set and last but not least we have the imprisoned merchant at the mogwin palace area and we're going to come from the Dynasty Mausoleum Midpoint Grace, and then we're just going to turn around and head through here. There are three or four several very strong enemies on the way, and I went ahead and killed them, so I don't have to do that on the video, but be careful when you come through here because they are pretty strong. And the merchant's just going to be to the right of this object here. And then one of the enemies spawns right here. And then inside this room will be the merchant we're looking for. Oh, 
And he sells some rune arcs, some staunching bolluses, a lot of bloody fingers, blood rose, five stone sword keys, lost ashes of war, dwelling arrows, and bird bolts. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you liked it, leave it a like and consider subscribing for more guide and PvP content to come.